All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a bootable USB drive and also how to um, burn an ISO image to a USB drive, depending on what you need to do. You uh, might need to put an ISO image on a USB drive to put uh, programs on there versus putting them on CD. And also a bootable USB drive in the case where um, you're trying to reinstall your operating system and you need to be able to boot up from the USB drive in place of a CD. So, if you already have the ISO image, then you're already a uh, you're already halfway there. If you don't, you're going to need to download a program to come to build the ISO image for you. Uh, you can use this site here, burnaware.com. Just go to slash download, um, download the free version. They give you a bunch of different options um, to use. You'll see here they give you the option to. Um, uh, do all sorts of stuff with making disks, boot disks, um, but here you want the ability to make an ISO image um, or a bootable ISO from local files. So just some tools there, uh, but in the case of this video um, we already have the ISO image. So you're going to need to download a program called ISO to USB. It's just simply ISO to USB.com. going to go to their website click download now. It's going to start a download link and you're just going to need to save and install that file. Once you have the program downloaded and installed, now you're going to go ahead and open it up. And here's where you're going to select the ISO file that you have. So for me it's going to be uh, Windows 8. You're going to select the drive um, do make sure your drive has enough storage to hold whatever you're burning on it. Uh, the file system, uh, you can leave it at the default and volume label. I just like to give it something relevant so I know what it is. And then make sure you check this box here for bootable if you're doing a um, uh, boot disk for an operating system. Uh, if you're just going to be putting um, software on here to install, you don't need to check that box. Then once that's done, you're going to click burn. It's going to say it's going to erase all the data on the USB drive. This is a great time to check your drive and make sure it's actually empty. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to warn you twice here, just double saying that yes, this drive will be formatted and also to say that it is going to be bootable and it should only have one partition. Um, as long as you've done nothing weird with your USB drive, you should be good to go there. So we click yes. And now it's going to be creating a bootable USB disk. Once this finishes, um, you'll have a USB drive that you can plug right into your computer and use it the same way you would with a um, CD. Um, it'll boot right up. Um, you may have to make a couple changes in the BIOS, uh, but it should act just like a CD. You plug it in, turn on your computer, usually it pops up saying, you know, press any key to boot from drive. It should prompt that for you. Uh, the burning of the um, image can take quite a bit of time depending on how much you're doing, um, depending on the file size that you're creating the image for. So that's it. It's a very simple process once you have the proper program. Um, I love ISO to USB. It's freeware. You don't have to worry about ads or anything like that. So that's it. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching.